are you ready for the Friday evening edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video? It's Weather for Weather Geeks. Uh, YouTube viewers, I apologize for the late upload last evening. YouTube was not down down, but it was down for uploads uh, for a couple of hours last evening. So my video just never uploaded. It just sat and spun its wheels for a couple of hours. Uh, so that's why things did not uh, get online at their usual time Thursday evening, but we're back at it hopefully this evening Hopefully you're watching this when uh, it's usually uploaded. Hopefully YouTube is past its problems of last evening And well today on this third day of May it was another warm day before the showers pushed in We reached 81 at the airport 80 on Wednesday 79 yesterday 81 today That's three straight days with temperatures way above the average to open up the month of May and while the next seven days may not be quite as warm as much of the last few days. It'll still be largely warmer than the average before a pattern change. Thanks to Renee over in Newcastle, one of our uh, premier weather spotters across the area for sending us a cool picture today from the Newcastle area of a couple of uh, great kinds of clouds um, all at one time. We have two different kind of semi-rare clouds all in one shot here. We see these types of clouds, but they're not super common. The pouchy clouds, those of course are mammatus clouds. And then kind of the wavy clouds, those are aspiratus clouds. And both of these indicate, you know, a fair amount of turbulence in the atmosphere. Um, we did not have a super unstable air mass overhead today, but we had just enough uh, as those showers pushed in that uh, we saw some cool cloud formations. So thanks again to Renee for sending us that picture. Rainfall totals with our afternoon showers have been very, very modest, generally just a few hundredths of an inch. But we are going to add on to these totals, certainly, in the coming days and over the next week or so as well. At about 7.01 p.m., we still had some light rain here and there this evening. We had some thunder and lightning earlier, and we still have a couple of strokes out there east of I-79 in west central PA. We had a couple of lightning strikes around Mansfield back in the 5 and 6 o'clock hours. And I can't rule out a rumble of thunder here and there this evening, but uh, that's a low chance. Most of this pretty garden variety shower activity pushing through. We have a cold front heading our way. There's really no cold air with this front. It's more of a dew point boundary. Much drier air up here. It'd be nice if this were to just sweep through this evening and leave us with dry air and great weather for the weekend. But unfortunately, this front's just going to kind of get a hung up, I should say and actually just kind of wash out um, as we go through the next 24 hours or so. And that means our weather looks a little unsettled at times this weekend, and uh, it'll stay kind of muggy for the short term as well. Where's tonight's severe weather threat? No surprise, it's across the High Plains states. We had uh, photogenic radar signatures and torna uh, confirmed tornadoes in Central Texas earlier on this evening. Tornado watch for parts of West Central Texas, severe thunderstorm watches here and here. The severe weather risk remains elevated for the next several days in much of the Midwest and the Plain States. No big surprise for this time of the year, but this is a you know particularly active pattern we're in the middle of. Our severe weather chances around here locally will not really ramp up uh, appreciably anytime real soon, although we'll be watching midweek. Depends on how things transpire with a few systems cruising along through the Great Lakes into the Northeast during midweek. So we'll sort all that out early on next week. In the meantime, high-res future cast for tonight. Not going to see much in the way of change here. A passing shower or two can occur just about any time tonight. And, you know, our expectations for rain as we head into Saturday and the weekend, they've lowered some. We had a couple of models a couple of days ago that were suggesting we might see an inch and a half, even close to two inches worth of rain between Friday and Saturday night. We don't expect that anymore. Uh, our model consensus is more in this half an inch to an inch range. And I think a lot of this may come Saturday night and with a scattering of showers Sunday as well. And actually our forecast has trended a little more optimistic since this time last evening for Saturday, for the start of the weekend. Now, I think we have to allow for a shower at just about any point Saturday, but a lot of the time it's not gonna be raining. A lot of the time it'll be cloudy with a few peaks of sun here and there. And while there might be a passing shower, I think the dry time is gonna outnumber the, the you know amount of hours in which it's wet for a lot of the daylight hours. But moisture should probably increase again towards evening on Saturday, increasing our chances for several hours of rain at times Saturday night. Now, Sunday morning could start with showers. Midday is probably largely dry. Here's another cold front heading our way. Now, this front is a little more on the move than our front tonight is. It's still a real weak one, though, so it's not going to be able to squeeze out much more than a hit or miss shower or a storm during the second half of the day Sunday. This front then kind of washes out well to our south and east, and I think the lion's share of Monday 
will be rain free. But as this next warm front approaches, by the end of the day Monday, I think showers are going to try to sneak through the I-70 corridor and maybe an area south of 224. We try to get a little wet before Monday is through. And yeah, no shortage of rain chances next week. Our overall cloud cover remains pretty elevated for the next several days. I think there'll be some times of sun. I don't see any dead overcast days coming our way. In fact, we might see a little more appreciable sun uh, from time to time during midweek. But with this you know, generally elevated cloud cover you see depicted here, um, it stands to reason why we are going to see several chances for wet weather. And my medium range thoughts are largely unchanged from what we've been talking about. I think uh, we're going to hang on to the warmer air through about next Friday. Next weekend is Mother's Day weekend, and I think that will signal, or that'll be the beginning of a pattern change that will take us at least through the middle third of May, which will be cooler and will probably be drier as well. Here's today's CPC outlooks, Climate Prediction Center. And you know, it's interesting, they, they show that eight to 14 day cool down, but they actually try to keep some of the cooler weather around through weeks three and four, which would take us all the way through the end of the month. And I could see where this tries to work out. I'm not real confident in that. I'm more confident in the middle of the month being cool. End of the month though, maybe uh, we, we see a continuation of that cool pattern. I just don't have a lot of confidence in that idea right now. But again, that cooler mid-month pattern does probably come with some drier weather as well, which I think we will enjoy after a pretty unsettled next six or seven days. Have a great Friday night and a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for checking out Weather for Weather Geeks on this Friday evening. I'll have more updates on the weekend forecast this evening, overnight, and at times over the weekend. In the meantime, have a great rest of your night.